Blessings to you, many, many blessings to all of you. Love you with all my heart, with all my soul. God actually put in my heart that I want to pray for the United States of America. Because right now, America in that position that this nation need a lot of prayers. I call out to my family and friends, my brother and sisters, no matter what your background, what your nationality, no matter where you come from, no matter where you're coming from and what race you belong to, I call to all of you prayer for the United States of America. Right now this nation is in that kind of position that we need prayers for all of you. We need prayers for every, from everybody. We need prayers for, from everybody because um, Bible says that always prayer for your leaders. In the Bible, if you see that Apostle Paul, he was against, um, you know, the Roman. He was against the all the you know the things of uh, their leaders, but he prayed for the leaders. He when they brought uh, Apostle Paul in front of the king, he actually put his you know whatever he wanted to say, but he also apologized right there because Bible does not. You know, uh, led us to the Bible. In Bible, uh, Jesus always teaches us humbleness. Jesus always tells us to, how to be humble, how to pray for the leaders, for those who are in authority. So today, I want to share with you, um, you know, a very significant the Psalm uh, 67. This Psalm, when I was reading, God, all of a sudden, I feel like the Holy Spirit touched me right there, that I should. Uh, you know, prayer for uh, our country, prayer for our new president, prayer for the vice president, prayer for the old people who are serving right now for the United States of Amer America, prayer for those people are overseas, prayer for everybody who actually, you know, uh, defending America, defending this nation, defending the Christians, because uh, I also want to talk about the ban, you know, the Muslim ban that o Donald Trump issued, the executive order that has been signed. You know, because of that ban, this is just not only bring us to into the uh, you know uh, in the eyes of uh, those who are uh, you know hate us, but into also uh, into the other people's eyes. It's bring a special attention on this nation. So that's the reason I felt in my heart that Holy Spirit led me to prayer for our country, prayer for the peace of America. Read with me a Psalm 67. Psalm 67. For the director of music with string instrument, a psalm, a song. May God be gracious to us and bless us. May and make his face shine upon us that your ways be known on earth. Your salvation among all nations. May the people praise you. O oh God, may all the people praise you. May the nation be glad and sing for joy. For you rule the people justly and guide the nation. Hey, listen, every, everybody, listen. You guide the nation of the earth. God is a guider. God who lead. God who direct. God who protect. God who is shield around those who are in distress. God is the shield around those people who fear from Him, who call upon the name of the God, who 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 has His fear in their heart. Because the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of the wisdom. The people, those who fear God, the people who obey His commandment, the people who bow down to the will of God, He shine His face on them. Today, we all leaders, all people, whoever watching me right now live on Facebook, I call on to you that let's gather together, join our hands and stand for America. Stand for America because America need a lot of prayers. America need a sea, uh, uh, intercessors. America need the people from around the world to get together and pray for America because we are in that kind of shift that where we need anointing of God, where, need, where we need God's presence in America, where we need angels of God to guiding and also be around us, where we need the gods as He protected the nation of Israel and at the same way, He protect this nation. May God protect the people of America. May God protect the people who are overseas. We need to pray. 
We need to get together. We need to stop having fun, but praise God. Glorify, enjoy God, enjoy His blessings, enjoy God, because God, He's a, He's a rock, He's over salvation, He's over defender, He's he gonna, he, he, he needs special, we need special healing from Him for this nation. Those heart who has been wounded, those hearts that who've been rejected, those hearts who've been disappointed, for people who didn't, uh, you know, uh, uh, those people who have been affected from these bands, but with prayer, we ask peace in this nation. You know, because nothing happened accident in the presence of God. Everything happened according to the will of God. Let's read with me a Psalm 67, the, the worst, real quick. May the people praise you, O God. May all the people praise you, then the land will yield its harvest, and God and our God will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth will fear Him. If you read in this psalm, we, we, we see uh, three things in this psalm. First of all, God bless those nations who fear, who have a fear of God. And and when and why he will bless those, and why he will protect those when you have a fear of God in your heart. And if you read right here again with me, the uh, the the verse uh, five, may the people praise you, O God. So when we begin to praise God, when we begin to lift our voice in His presence. When we begin to praise, he don't need a bull, he don't need a blood of goat, he don't need any other sacrification, but the sacrification of our lips. He need a sacrification of our time. He need a sacrification of our tongue. He need a sacrification of our voice, so we can bring our voice in his presence, so we can lift up our hands in his presence and begin to praise God and honor God, because God who love praise. God who love praise, God who love his his names to be exalted above all other hills. God love his names to be exalted and to be praised forever because his kingdom will never end. We ask right now a wisdom for our president Donald Trump. We ask spirit of understanding for our president Donald Trump. We ask God to guide him, lead him as God began to guide other kings, as God uh, God guided a nation, um, as God guided Joseph who was uh, put in authority. God guided Joseph even though the nation of Egypt was going down into trouble but God guided Joseph and Joseph was the key person in Egypt I, I say it again Joseph was a key person in Egypt and through him God restored the Egypt I don't know who is the key person right now might be Donald Trump the key person I don't know nobody knows but we must pray for our president we must submit ourselves to the will of God. We must let God to guide us. We must let God to teach us. We must let God to lead us. We must let God to direct us. We must let God and the Holy Spirit to form kind of environment so we can follow, so we can go with the flow of Holy Spirit. Let me tell you guys, no nation will prosper if you leave God behind. No nation, no community, no society will ever be prosper when you neglect God out of your environment, when you neglect God out of your school system, when you neglect God out of your constitution, when you l l neglect God out of your government. Nobody will be p in peace. No nation will survive when you leave, when you leave, when you abandon God, they will be perish. Because the Bible says the nations well, nations will come, but they will perish, but the kingdom of our God will remain forever. My God, I give praise to you. My God, I give honor to you and glorify Yeshua, Messiah, the Jehovah. Shalom, Jehovah, Il Ilion, we praise you. We glorify your name. We lift up your name. May the name of Jesus, the Yeshua Messiah, to be flourished over the land of America. 
May God come back to America. May God remember America. May God take his wrath off of America. May God bring restoration in America. May God bless again America. May God show his mercies and compassion. May God guide our leaders. May God protect our leaders. May God set his, his protection, his hatch around this nation the borders of is this nation we ask the anointing of god we ask the anointed oils to be sprinkled over the every single corner of this nation may this nation be prosper again may this nation be blessed again may god give more opportunities to the leaders so they can get to know god god we ask your spirits to dwell in the white house god we ask your spirits to, to lead and guide over leaders may god teach them may god have them discover him the other side of god because god who is our leader he's our director he's our protector may god we come we invite you god <coughs> excuse me we invite you god in our hearts in our houses in our businesses in our school systems we god invite you back come back and take over lord take the control take over everything lord jesus we ask your anointing we ask your blessings we ask you to shine your face upon us and lord lead us and guide us direct us right now lord jesus we pray for the united states we pray who is against us we pray for those haters who hate us we pray for those people who are plotting against us we pray for those people who are digging a hole for us to fall down we pray for those those who think that we will entangled we, we pray for those who think that we will fall into the sea we pray lord their conspiracy fall on them but lord let your words to be stand firm let your words because the bible says the heavens and earth will pass away but his words will never pass away let your words fulfill in this nation all the prophecies about america all the prophecy about our leaders may fulfill in the name of jesus may we ask anointing and restoration and peace and joy back in this nation we ask gods to bless us back we ask gods to anoint us we ask god to dedicate us lord as you led this nation for so many years as you led this nation for so many years you have shown your compassion you have shown your mercies you have shown that how great you got it to this nation Lord, the people like Billy Graham coming out of this nation. Lord, people like T.D. Jakes came out of this nation. People like ma many big pastors like Kenneth Copeland, all these big pastors came out of this nation. Lord, many other pastors are coming and rising up out of this nation. May God bless this nation again. May God bless this land again. May God restore this land again. I ask that Yeshua Messiah to dwell in this place. I ask Yeshua Messiah to restore us again. I ask Yeshua Messiah to have your anointing, the oil, the rod of God, the spectrum of God's to guide us, to, to protect us from our enemies. May enemy be perished. May enemy be put to shame. May God to be exalted against all our enemies. God, the angels of God to pursue those who pursue us with their uh, plot in their head. That they will take over us. That they will, they, 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 they will come over and, and scatter us away. But God's the names to be glory. But when evil doors thinks that they will come over and take over. But God should sit on throne. He laughs at the wicked because he knows the ways of wicked. But the uh, the ways of righteous will prosper. God will bless those who fear from him. The Joseph. Joseph had a dream about his uh, about his people. God prepared Joseph for the nation of Egypt. God prepared Joseph for his own people. God prepared Joseph to come go to Egypt so when the time of famine come listen guys somebody somebody need to listen this when the when there was a famine about to come nobody knew about that God prepared Joseph 
God prepared Joseph. God, I say it again. God prepared Joseph when the time of famine is supposed to come for the nation of Israel. For those people who are supposed to be inflicted from that famine. God prepared Joseph to guide and lead. God gave Joseph the kind of wisdom that he's uh, stored grain. That God given him a perception of thinking so he could captivate his thinking and expose his thoughts over to, over to the Pharaoh. And as he listened to Joseph, he began to understand the Spirit of God is over him. The Spirit, somebody is right behind him. Somebody is, the Spirit of God is overshadowing him. When you know that somebody is anointed, automatically you begin to pursue him. When Samuel knew that David was anointed, he anointed him. Because he knew God chose him. And he protected the nation of Israel. God always prepares somebody where is nobody. Where you don't see the light of hope coming up. But God will prepare somebody. God will set somebody up for you. So you can escape the wrath. So you can escape the trouble. So you can ex escape the temptation. So you can escape the famine. Might be God prepare somebody today. In your house. Probably in a white house. No matter where you are. God prepare probably somebody so he can come over. But when the time of troubles come, so that person can have a strategy in his mind. So that person have a plan against the enemies to escape the, their, their planning, their plot against. But God has always prepared somebody. Let me also tell you, God prepared Moses to bring Israel out of Egypt. My God! Oh my God, I feel anointing. That's so powerful. Let me tell you, God prepared Joseph to bring Israel into Egypt. And when the time and when the trouble came, God prepared Moses to bring Israel out of Egypt. My God, that's powerful. And God, if you are in trouble, if you are in shame, pain, if you are in sickness, God already has prepared me to pray for you. God already prepared me to pray for this nation. God prepared me to pray for the people. God prepared me to pray for uh, Donald Trump, President Donald Trump. God prepared me to pray for the leaders. God prepared me to be on these videos, to talking to you, so you know that witness of God is here. Let's pray for United States. Let's continue prayer for this. This nation needs a lot of prayer. Lord, we come before you. We ask your anointing, healing for the hearts. We ask anointing of God to be in this place, in this nation. We ask God's back in this nation. The every single word of God to sow a, like a seed in this nation. So the word of God began to grow on trees. The word of God may begin to grow everywhere. Lord, I ask your anointing. I ask your power. I ask the manifestation of Holy Spirit. I ask God to lead this nation. I ask God to protect this nation. I ask the army of God to direct us, lead us. Lord, we ask your majesty to bless us again. Lord, we ask your majesty to all the plotting of enemies. That enemy thinks that he is will take over. But Lord, you guide us. You lead us. You show us the path. You show us the path, Lord. Heal this land. Heal this land. Let's pray for those right now. Lord, those of who are watching me right now, if they have, I want you to put your hand wherever you have a problem going on. Because I'm going to pray for you and God's going to heal you. God's going to show His favor upon you, over you, over your body, over your finance. If your marriage is going down, I'm praying for you. If your business is going down, I'm going to pray for you. If you feel like you are left alone, if you feel like that you're in trouble, if you have a disease, a sickness, if you have a pain in your head, I'm going to pray for you. God gonna anoint you, God's gonna heal you, God's gonna deliver you, and God's gonna set you free. God's gonna break every single chains out of your life. 
and God's going to bring a restoration in your life. Oh, Lord, we pray for those right now in sickness, those who have a headache right now. In the name of Jesus, I ask your hands over them. I command pains to cast out of their head. In the name of Jesus, every single disease, every single cancer, every single leukemia, every single sugar, high blood pressure, anything broken bone in their body, if they have a, a, a arthritis, I, in the name of Jesus, I ask, uh, I command right now, in the name of Jesus, every single broken bone begin to heal, begin to join together, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask your power, Lord, I ask your healing and one working power in their life to touch Holy Spirit every single body touch in the name of Jesus the right now who is watching me I ask anointing of God's to touch right now Lord have the manifestation of Holy Spirit I ask Holy Spirit to right now overshadow them in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you transform life in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask restore lives in the name of Jesus. And if somebody feel like they're going to commit suicide in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every single spirit of suicide and I ask the anointing of God over them Lord Holy Spirit drive them out of there wherever they're going to commit suicide in the name of Jesus I rebuke every single spirit of deception I rebuke every single spirit of pornography I rebuke every single spirit of condemnation I rebuke every single spirit of guilty anxiety depression I rebuke every single spirit of manipulation Manipulation. I ask anointing of God. I ask the word of God. I speak the word of God in their life. I speak anointing over their life. I speak the, the power of God to manifest in their life. Chains begins to break right now. May favor of God to be with them. May God defend you. May God fight for you. May God lead you. May God give you a word of wisdom. May God give you a word of celebration. May God give you a word of understanding. May God give you a word of prosperity. May God give you a word of understanding. In the name of Jesus, every single sickness coming out of their body. I feel it. I feel it in spirit. Somebody is getting healed. Right now, give praise to God. Start giving praise to God. Start honoring God. Start giving praise to God. Because somebody about to set, deliver. Somebody is going to deliver right now. Even every single demo possessed I speak Jesus over them. Every single demon possessed right now in the name of Jesus. Every single demon in their body, I ask you, get out of them. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask healing. I ask recovery. I ask restoration. I ask anointing. I ask power of God in their life. Lord, Holy Spirit, we submit ourselves to you. Holy Spirit, we come before you. Holy Spirit, we come before you. Guide us, Lord, when we're in trouble. Lead us, Lord, when we are in depression. And thank you what you're doing in our lives. I speak anointing of God over them, those who are right now depressed. Lord, people who are inflicted, the people who are separated, the families. I ask right now a courage for their hearts. Those people who inflicted by this ban. Those people who are lost hope. Jesus, give them hope. Those people who good, 
the people who good also became inflicted because of this ban. Lord, I ask your anointing over them. Lord, I ask you to guide them. Lord, courage them, comfort them, give them a peace and understanding because nothing happened without reason. Everything happened for reason and reason is you, God. Because you don't let anything happen without reason. If Job lost everything, it was because of the reason. Because you wanted to bless him with a double portion. If Esther end up marrying a king, it's because of the purpose. Oh my God, Shakatara. It was not happening in an accident that she ended up marrying the king Zexurius. Esther, Mary, Esther married that guy because you had a purpose to save your nation. If Hannah began to cry and whisper her prayers in your presence because you had a purpose in her life to born Samuel. If Lord, if anything happened, is nothing happened out of accident, happens according to your purpose, according to your will. Because you are the King, the Most High God, the Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha. We give praise to you, we honor you, we glorify you. We magnify your name, God, we magnify your name. Come Lord, come Jesus, we thank you Lord for everything that you've done for us. Everything that you've done for America, I believe it that this nation is protected by you now. You're going to protect this nation. You're going to lead this nation after you, Lord. Lord, I thank you that whatever you're going to do, I thank you whatever you're about to do through this nation and to the hearts of those who don't know about you, Jesus. Who don't know about you, Jesus. May many come to know Jesus as their personal Savior as they go through transition. Lord, we ask your anointing over them. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much everybody for tuning in. I want you to continue so your prayer, the seed of your prayer into the presence of God for United States of America. Because this nation need God. This nation need grace. This nation need salvation. This na nation need blessings of God. This nation needs the restoration from God. This nation needs a vindication from God. This nation need a, a anointing, the guidance of God. We need God in this nation now than ever before. We need God, the, His presence here in this nation. Continue prayer for United States of America and the Vision Ministries International. Thank you so much. I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless each and every one of you. Have a very, very blessed night.